don't be afraid. There is nothing to fear, save fear itself. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and teachers everywhere, and my friends abundant? I am the professor, Julius Sumner Miller, and strange things are encountered here. Let me show you how strange. Here is a bicycle wheel. Now, says someone, what can he say about a bicycle wheel that I have not seen? Oh, oh, this is absolutely enchanting. This wheel is loaded in the edge, and hence, we say, has a large moment of inertia with respect to this horizontal axis. Now, I have a rope attached to one end of one handle, and I'm going to rest the other handle on the tabletop, and we are agreed as follows that the tabletop supports part of the weight of the whole thing, and I support the other part. If the table support is removed, the wheel will fall down. Watch it. Sure, I'm going to do that again because, uh, well, I expected that. Did you? Yes. <coughs> Up, fell down. Now I'm going to do it again to convince you that if the table support is removed, the wheel will tip over about this axis because of a torque produced by its weight at its center of gravity. Whoop, whoop. Well, it more than fell down. Well, yes, yes, I think perhaps we should talk to those people who made the knot in this. But anyway, I'll do it again. There it is. I want you to see that it will fall down. Good. Now I'm going to do a little, little mystic exercise. I'm going to spin it. Watch me. There it is spinning. Now I'm going to remove the support. Ho, ho! <laughs> you all expected it to fall down, didn't you? And indeed, I can't knock it down. Look at that. I'll sock it and whack it, and it won't go down. I think that's terrific. And that's a gyroscope, about which I have no time here to speak, because it is very complicated. But have I not urged you to learn the mathematics in order to understand these affairs of nature? So I'm going to write the mathematics on the board. <clears throat> that's the Greek letter tau. There it is. And it would take me about six hours to develop that equation to tell you why the wheel does not fall down. Now, I spun it clockwise for me. I'm going to spin it counterclockwise. And, of course, it precesses the other way. Isn't that beautiful? I like that so much, I'm just going to stand and watch it. Now, of course, as its angular velocity on its own axis decreases, something happens, as you see, it is getting weary of its motion and will soon cease and desist. But of this, we have no more time to say. <laughs>